We're the trillionaires, man. What'd he do with y'all? Welcome back to another video, out in there, you know, I'm saying. Now, look, man. If y'all would have seen my video yesterday, we're talking, to, man. I was going through it out in this bitch. <laughs> we're talking, to, man. February 29th out in this bitch. Now it's March 1st, you know what I'm saying? So I'm back on my A game. Well, this is day one of me getting back on my A-game. And real talk though, man, um, I'm doing me a challenge. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing me a challenge, right? It's going to be a financial challenge. And this challenge that I'm doing is on the Visionary Team. And I think I already made a video about it on this channel as well. I just got to make it public. And yeah, man, you know, I'm just going to do on the Visionary Team. So, hey, man, if you want to join the challenge with me on some shit, go on the Visionary Team and we... I, look, man, I already gave y'all the blueprint as to what it is that I'm doing. And I'm going to keep on giving out more blueprints. I'm telling you what it is, man. It's up to you. Anyways, though, man, so I want to talk to y'all about something today. I don't know why I'm going to title the video yet. I don't know why I'm going to title it yet, though. I don't know. Where it's out, though, man. But um, I want to talk about something today, though. Trying to see how I can go on about it. Let me just let me just start off with this. To all men, including me. To all men out here, right? To all men out here. You want that you want that you want the hottest woman, huh? It's probably, it's probably someone it is that you know in real life. Or it might be someone it is that you see online. They beautiful, ain't it? Oh, they are gorgeous. They're stunning. They're magnificent. Real talk though, man. But you see that. That's like it's like a dime, a pretty the one of the prettiest one of the prettiest females you have ever seen in your life. You want that, huh? Oh, you want that? She's fine. I ain't gonna lie. Straight ten. Point I'm trying to get across, though, right? Point I'm trying to get across is that's what you want. So when it comes to these females, right? When it comes to these females. When they looking for the 1% man, just like how you looking for the 1% woman. When they looking for the 1% man that probably, that's probably rich, that probably got the money and shit like that. Don't get mad when, don't get mad when they do it. Because I just want you to know you're doing the same exact thing in your form. No. Now, let me explain about what it is I'm trying to explain. I made a video about this like two months ago, I believe now. And the title of that video was called... There are two different attractive mechanisms in both men and women. You see, on the men's side, right? Or basically, should I just say, there's two different type of currencies. On the men's side, right? Or let me talk about the females first. So what is the currency for a female? The currency for a female is her looks. The currency in a female is her beauty. Now, what do I mean by that? You see, to all the females out here, right, to all the females out here, I just want to let you know, the more prettier it is that you are, then the more opportunities it is that you're going to have in a whole lot of areas. It could be with finances. It could be with um, dating with some other things, man. You know, it, it could also just be, you know, you have special you have special privileges. That's your currency. Your currency depends on how beautiful it is that you look when you look beautiful you damn near like a celebrity i'm telling you, i'm telling you what it is this is why to all men out here right this is why when you go on their social media pages when you see like a beautiful woman right these beautiful women they begin like on instagram or something like that they begin all the likes on their posts in the world I'm telling you, these motherfuckers probably have like 2,000 followers, but yet they have like 10,000 likes. This don't make no damn sense. But reason for it being, though, is simply because that is their currency. So, point I'm trying to get across, though, right? And let me talk about the men right quick. Let me talk about the men. For the men, your currency 
is you being a provider. That's your currency. Your currency is your money. Your currency is your wealth. So with that being said, with that being said, this is why you, to all men out here, right? This is why you always see these females. This is why you always see these females. They always flock to the man who has the what? The dough. I'm telling you what it is. Because that's your currency. This is why people treat you different when you get rich. Because that's your currency. Your currency is your wealth. Because your currency is, or should I say, your currency is you being a, being a um, provider. So why am I bringing all of this up? Why am I why why did I bring that up? The reason as to why I brought that up, right? Reason as to why I brought that up is simply because I know for us as men, right? I know for us as men. Let me talk about myself specifically. You see, let me talk about me. One thing about me, man, I feel like a whole lot of men can relate. Look, G, I want the hottest woman. I'm telling you what it is. Real talk. I really, I honestly want the hottest woman out in this bitch. I'm telling you the game. However, with that being said, though, right, with that being said, since, I, since you know, of course, I want other things in that female, but point I'm trying to get across is I want a female that is the 1%. And how's, how can a woman be the 1%? A woman could be the 1%, right? A woman could be the 1% based on her beauty, based on her looks. Like I said, there's plenty more things as well, like her mentality, all that extracurricular ass shit. But the first thing that us as men, when we look in dating, right, the first thing it is that we look for, we look to see how pretty the female is. So with that being said, I just told y'all, right, I just told y'all that it's two different attractive mechanisms. So with that being said, since us as men, since we like to look for the most prettiest women, right, because that's their currency, how good they look then these females should do the same exact thing. Basically, what I'm saying is they're going to find the man who has who, who is who has the ability to provide the most like wealth, status, all type of shit, safety. I'm telling you what it is. More so just wealth out in this bitch. But, you know, point I'm trying to get across, though, right? Point I'm trying to get across is if you're looking if you're looking for a female strictly off of her looks, right? then why can't these females do the same exact thing with your ass? Why can't they just strictly go for your damn money out in this bitch? And that's all, that's all it is I'm trying to say in this video. All it is I'm trying to say in this video is to all men out here, if you strictly, because look, man, like I said before, I, look, man, us as men, we want, the, we want the hottest woman. We want the most beautiful woman. And then what happens is when, when, we, uh, when we don't get that beautiful woman right, when we don't get it, we're going to feel some type of way. We're going to start to feel lower about ourselves. We're going to start to say, is there something wrong with me? Oh, she's a bitch. Real talk though, man. You, you know, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna do a whole lot of low self-esteem ass things. But point I'm trying to get across is you got to think about what you're doing. You're, going, you're, you're trying to go for the hottest woman, my G. You're trying to go for the 1% woman. So if you're trying to go for the 1% woman, what makes you think that that 1% woman is not trying to go for the 1% man? I'm telling you what it is. Do y'all understand? Do y'all understand what it is I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, get across? I'm trying to look, man. I'm trying to let y'all know if y'all, if look, man, to all the men out here, if y'all strictly go, if y'all strictly trying to go, trying to get a female based off of her looks, like I said, it's plenty more things, that, plenty more things that you probably like in a female as well. But their currency is looks. So if you're trying to get with a female that is strictly based upon of her looks first, then right, then basically, why can't she? Why can't these females do the same thing when it comes to you? Why can't they look at you like, damn, does he have money out in this bitch? Why can't they look at you like that? Because you looking, it's basically what I'm saying. They like basically what I'm trying to say is, why can't they look at you in an artificial ass way if you're looking at them in an artificial ass way? Because I'm here to tell you right now, man, I'm here to tell you right now, you know, like I said, to all men out here, you know, this video is more so for men, but females, y'all can watch this video as well. Y'all can look in y'all in, you know, but, um, but real talk to man, because like I said, I'm speaking from experience out in this bitch. I know how it feels to get rejected by the females it is that I really wanted out in this bitch, like the 1% ass females, like the, 
the models. Red talk though, man. I know how that shit feels. And um, basically, you know, I used to get butthurt about the. I used to get butthurt about them. I ain't gonna sit back and you. Red talk. I honestly used to get butthurt, but the thing is, I had it. I had to come into this damn thought process. And the thought process it is that I came across is, look, G, I'm trying to get the one percent woman out in this bitch. I'm trying to get the one percent woman that every single man want. I'm telling you what it is. So I mean that should let you that should let me know some shit that I do got great taste. But the point I'm trying to get across is if I'm trying if I'm trying to get the one percent woman right, if I'm trying to get the if I'm trying to get the um, the female that every single that every single guy want out in this bitch right. If, if I'm trying to if I'm, if I'm trying to get that female, then what makes me think what makes me think that you know. Since I'm trying to get the 1% female, what makes me think that that female it is I'm trying to get, what makes me think she don't want a 1% man out in this bitch? She got too many options, my G. But it's not even the fact that she got too many options. On, her, on the female side, they're looking like the same way it is that the men is doing. Y'all want the 1% woman? They're looking for the 1% man out in this bitch. So, let me talk about the females right quick. This is why you always see these females, right? This is why you always see these females. They always want the rich dude. <laughs> or, you know, they always want the dude that is, you know, real talk. Go, go on these celebrities. Go on, go on these, uh, like, go on, go on Drake Instagram page. Or, like, just, you know, on, not even just his Instagram. But look look how these hoes be worshipping Drake out in this bitch. Look, look how they be worshipping Drake. And it's not even just with Drake. It's a, it's a whole lot of celebrities out in this bitch. But look how they look how they be worshiping them though. You want to know why? Reason for it being is simply because they're the one percent. I'm telling you what it is. They're looking basically. They're they're looking at. They're looking like you know. They probably not even doing this consciously, but subconsciously, this is what these females like. I'm telling you what it is. These females subconsciously, it's like when they see when they see a wealthy man, they be like. It's like it's like it's like they hit the damn jackpot out in this bitch, and it's, you know when when it's like that though, right? What's gonna happen is they're gonna they're gonna be the s word limping over their ass. I'm telling you what it is. Reason for it being is because that wealthy man got something it is that they like, and the thing it is that they like is basically their number one thing it is that they like in a man is damn he could he could he could provide for me. I'm telling I'm telling you what it is out in this bitch. So what it is I'm trying to say, what it is I'm trying to say, you know, to all my men out here, if you're looking for the 1% woman in an artificial way, right? If you're looking for a 1% woman and you strictly going for their looks first, like I said, you're not just going for their looks, but looks is the number one priority. So if you if you're going if you're going based off of their looks first, right, then why can't these females do the same thing when it comes on their end? Why think why can't they go for money first? And that's all this I'm trying to say. And look, man, when it comes to this video, look, G, I ain't kept to save a hoe. I'm telling you what it is, man. I ain't kept to save a hoe out in this bitch. But the point I'm trying to get across is I'm just, I'm just, I'm letting y'all, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to all the men out here, I'm trying to get y'all to accept female nature out in this bitch. Because what's happening is y'all keep on denying, like, damn, these hoes. Y'all keep on getting butthurt about these hoes. Me personally on some shit, like I said, I know how it feels. When you first get into female nature, right? When you first get into like red pill and shit like that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be mad than a bitch. I'm telling you what, you're gonna be like, man, these hoes ain't shit. Man, these these hoes, they don't want me when I'm broke or some shit. Uh, these hoes, man, these hoes. I'm telling you, you're gonna be you're gonna be mad out in this bitch. And you might, like I said, I made a video called Red Pill Rage. You might you 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 might just be so mad at these hoes, you're gonna keep on. You're gonna you're gonna end up as a damn incel. I'm telling you what it is, man. But point I'm trying to get across, though, right? Point I'm trying to get across is you're basically in the you're basically in the denying stage. You keep on denying the fact. You, you don't you don't want to accept the fact that's how these females are. You don't want to accept the fact that these females, you know, these females, you know, you I mean, look, man, you could look at these females like they fucked up in the head. I mean, I mean, if you want to on some shit, but you don't want to accept that fact. You don't want to accept the fact that these females. Is only gonna like your ass when when you rich. You you're not gonna accept the fact that these females they really not gonna like your ass until you become somebody out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is. You you don't want to accept that fact. 
So what's going to happen is you're going to keep on denying it, keep on getting mad at these hoes. Me personally on some shit, let me talk about me personally. Personally, at this current moment, when it comes to me and these women on some shit, I don't care no more. I'm telling you, if these hoes like me because I got money out in this bitch, oh the fuck well, it is what it is. And you want to know why? Simply because, look G, on my end, it's some artificial ass shit anyway. <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm only going for I'm only going for the females that look the I ain't look man at this at this current point in time with some shit I'm literally only only going for the females that is the hottest out in this bitch look like supermodels or some shit I'm telling you what it is I you know real talk man look I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to look man personally on some shit you ain't gonna catch me with no chubby hoe I'm telling you I'm telling you what it is but since it's like that or some shit, since I'm going for the one percent woman not in this bitch, hey man, I'm gonna have to be the one percent man. What do these what do these what do these one percent ass women like or some shit? Obviously they like obviously they like they like the one percent man. They they want the man. Basically, when I mean so let me give to all my men out here, right? Let me give you as a damn cheat code right quick. Look, G, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is look like you got money. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. Look, man, that's all you got to do out in this bitch. All you got to do is look like you got money out in this bitch. When you look like you got money out in this bitch, these hoes going to go for your ass. I'm telling you, gang. You got to you gotta have the image of... You got to have the image of financial freedom. That's basically all it is I'm trying to say out in this bitch. When you have the image of financial freedom, then these hoes is yours because they looking at you like, damn, I could live off of his ass. Damn. He could protect me. Damn. You know, I'm going to have an easy life dealing with his ass. I'm, I'm telling you what it is out in this bitch. And to all my men out here, you probably don't like what it is I'm saying or some shit. I'm laying you. This is female nature, my G. This is female nature on some shit. Like I said, this is why you, this is why these celebrities, right? This is why these celebrities, this is why these rich men or some shit, this is why they begin off. This is why, this is why dating is very. This is why dating is on the easiest difficulty when you are rich. Simply because when you're rich out in this bitch, you got the power. That's what these hoes want. They want to. They want. They want a man that got power, aka they want a man that could provide for their lifestyle. I'm telling you what it is, man. So look, G. Now you might be asking, damn, will I ever find true love? <laughs> We're talking, man. That's a very great ass question on some shit. Look, G, I'm gonna make a video about this on my word of visionaries when it comes to like true love or some shit. Look, man, like I said, at this point for me on some shit, I don't know. Real talk though, man. Um, look, man, there is something called twin flame and soulmate. Look, G, because you know, I was gonna look, man, there's something called karmic partners as well. And karmic partners is basically, let's say, let's say, um, Karmic partners is basically like, let's say you met this person in like school. Let, let's say you met this person in like wherever the fuck, you know, you just met this person, but they're not your soulmate. They're not your twin flame. When it comes to them, when it comes to like a karmic partner or something like that, you know, it could go two ways. One, they could truthfully love you for you or two, because look, man, I know it's a whole lot of men. They might be broken shit like that and they still pull a woman. But, you know, when it comes to that though, right? When it comes, when it comes to dating, when you are broke, what's going to happen is these females, they're going to want to try to have control because they know you are in a, in a, in a broke ass circumstance. So, you know, when you're broke, you probably have a broken mentality. You probably have a low self-esteem mentality. They want to have control in the relationship. I'm telling you what it is. So, you know, so upon I'm trying to get across is when it comes to that, you know, I, because I, you know, I, I don't know. And basically what I'm trying to say is I don't know if they love you for you out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is when it comes to that, when it when it comes to that, you know. But if they if they not with you for control out in this bitch when you broke, you might you might found true love out in this bitch. You might, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, but um, but there's look man, there's something called soulmate and twin flame. There is something called soulmate and twin flame. Soulmate is when you when it's a person, right? Soulmate is when when it's a person it is that you feel like you are very connected to and it's just like an instant connection not in this bitch like you know it's nothing materialistic that y'all both trying to gain from each other or it's nothing artificial that y'all both trying to gain from each other like y'all y'all interacting with each other's spirits so you would like you looking past their human form it don't matter how beautiful they look it don't matter about none of that shit you're looking past their human form 
and you're seeing their spirit and y'all both connecting with each other. That's like on some soulmate shit. Now look, G, if you, if you want to have true love, then you might have to go and find a damn soulmate out in this bitch. How do you get that? You might got to pray to the gods of the universe that you want a soulmate. I'm telling you what it is, man, because I don't know. You know, me personally, I ain't looking for a soulmate at the current moment or some shit. I don't know if I ever will. Uh, you know, or you can have a, you, you know, you might have a dream partner or some shit. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, man, but, but, um, also there's another one called Twin Flame. Now, look, G, Twin Flame is more powerful than a damn soulmate. I ain't, look, man, I had a Twin Flame before. I had a false Twin Flame. I want the real one. Look, G, that Twin Flame, that false Twin Flame connection, that shit was so damn strong. I could only imagine how the true Twin Flame would feel. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is, man. But look, man, point I'm trying to get across is to all my people that will find their true tw Twin Flame, basically what Twin Flame is, y'all both have matching spirits, matching mindsets, matching energy, all that shit. Tell me what it is. Now, honestly, that might be the true definition of true love. I don't know out in this bitch. But, you know, you could, you could, if you really want a twin flame, you could pray to the guys that you want a twin flame. I don't fucking know. But, you know, um, but point I'm trying to get across is, look, G, all of this I'm trying to say, if you're a person that want to have true love out in this bitch, like a person that will literally like you for you and not looking for no artificial thing, this goes for both men and women because nowadays, Nowadays, for us, like in this materialistic three dimensional realm, you know, real talk though, man, when it's like this though, right? We're looking for, we're looking for the physical first. Like I said, for men, we're looking for how beautiful the woman is. For females, they're looking to see how rich the man is. So, you know, if you want to, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have any, um, if you don't want to have any worldly type of relationship, and you want to have like some real spiritual type of relationship, my G, you know, might got to find a twin flame, a soulmate, or you're going to have somebody that's on the arm. I don't fucking know. I'm telling you what it is, man. I don't know, my G. I don't know. That's that's if you, that's if you want, that's if you want to have the, um, that type of relationship or some shit. Me personally, like I said, man, you know, at this, at this current point in time right now, I ain't looking for no soulmate and I'm damn sure I ain't looking for no twin flame at the current moment because... <laughs> That shit was stronger than that bitch, my G. So with that being said, I'm currently into worldly type of women out in this bitch. You know, I'm looking for the I'm looking for I'm looking for the uh the type of woman it is that is tailor made for me in a karmic ass way. So with that being said, basically what I'm talking about in this video, you know, I like models out in this bitch. Since I like models, then basically, you know, I'm have to be an individual that a model like. I'm just telling you what it, it just it just is what it is. Because I'm going for the one percent woman, you know, they're you know, I'm going I'm going for them in an artificial way. Of course I want their mentalities and other extra ass shit to be right and shit like that. But with that being said, they got a whole lot of options. Now, I'm telling you what it is. So I'm gonna be a dime a dozen of other men or some shit. I'm going to be a dime a, dozen, a dime a dozen other men that want the yes. But with that being said, they want the 1% man just like how I want the 1% woman. What they're looking for in the 1% man, they're going to go for the man that basically, you know, it's a, you know, that, you know, it's the most powerful one out of all the dudes that is that she, that she motherfucking, um, that she's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That she sees in her damn DM followers, all that extra shit. I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you game out in this bitch. So, but yeah, man, other than that, though, man, I feel like I got my point across, though, man. I feel like I got my point across. It just, it just is what it is. Like I said, me personally on some shit, I accept on, I accept on some shit. Look, man, I don't, look, man, like I said, I don't care. Look, man, see, that's the thing. Y'all feel, look, man, look, when it comes to dating in this day and age, when it comes to modern dating, one of the first thing it is that you got to do out in this bitch, man, you got to erase your, you got to erase your damn feelings. I'm telling you what it is. Now, what do I mean by that? When I mean by erasing your feelings, right? When I mean by erasing your feelings, I'm talking about you got to stop feeling butthurt, my G. Because I will admit, I will admit, my G, in this day and, in this day and age of modern dating, just know your feelings will get hurt out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is. But if you are an individual that don't care, if you are an individual that could, that could mute those type of... um not so feel good as, good as emotions, or you just accept it, right? Then what's going to happen is... What's going to happen is, is basically you're just going to, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be okay. And you're going to accept the fact that whatever, look, man, you're just going to accept 
how modern dating works out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is. And that's basically where it is. I'm at some shit. I accept modern day for what it is. You know, real talk, man. People hate modern dating nowadays. Me personally on some shit. Look, G, it just is what it is. I know for a damn fact I got to be on top of my damn A game for me to get the finest of the finest woman. I'm telling you what it is. Real talk, man. You know, I'm just telling you the game. And since that is the case, since I want the finest of the finest woman or some shit, then they should they should want the they should want the you know the riches of the riches man not in this bitch, and we should meet in between because at this point in time for me or some shit, I'm only going for the finest of the finest woman. Like I said, I ain't talking to no damn, I ain't talking to no damn nine, I ain't talking to no damn eight, I ain't talking to no damn sevens, sixes, fives, four, three, two, ones, damn sure not zeros out in this bitch. <laughs> Real talk though, man, I'm only talking to straight up tens and above. So with that being said, since I'm only going for the straight tens and above out in this bitch, I'm going to be the 10 out of 10 man. So if I, if I want, look, man, I want a 10 out of 10 female, best believe they're going to expect to have a damn 10 out of 10 man. I'm telling you what it is and accept that fact. Real talk. Anyways, though, man, I might make another video about this on my word of visionaries in the future or some shit. So if you like this video, man, stay tuned for some more videos and we all tease up.